Hello guys, this is Timothy Lee. This is my first video clip. From now on, I'm going to show you Korea car test drive. First car is Genesis GV70. GV70 is the second SUV from Genesis brand. A unique point of GV70 is three different designs. Basically, GV70 has three powertrain types. First one is 2.2 diesel, and second one is 2.5 liter turbo. Last one is 3.5 liter turbo. So firstly, let's see the exterior color. It has 12 different colors. First picture is Melbourne gray. GV80 also has this color as well. And the second one is Cheville silver. In my private opinion, this one is good. And the third one is Uyuni white. So this one also nice. And it has sports packages, sports design packages. So different fuel type and the radiator grill or bumper as well. The first one is Big Black, other sportier car in Hyundai brand, something like uh, Sonata N-Line or Tucson N-Line, which has black color as well. And I think those two cars is more suitable for black colors, but the Genesis GV70 is not so good for this black color. I don't know why, but that's my just theory. Next one is Carbon Metal. It's also nice, it looks like a gray. And this is a brand new column. It's called Mauna Red. I didn't see yet. It would be nice. The other one is Barossa Burgundy. It looks a little bit violet. Interesting is it has glossy color and matte color as well. I hope to show you other colors as well but later. So this is the color gradation. So this is the standard car design. So you can see just the chrome radiator grill and the bumper as well. And now you can see two different type of facade. Like, uh, left one is sports package designed, and the right one is the, just a standard design. Sports package has a dark chrome ready to grill, black high grossy splitter, and the standard design has chrome color ready to grill splitter too. Okay, when you see at the side, you can recognize more different, both two types. Like, uh, it has a very straight character line from headlamp to tail lamp it make cars more bold it has a little bit linear roof line okay this is also different this is another different thing from between two designs sports design package has a dark chrome roof rail greenhouse molding also painted with dark chrome colors but the bottom one is standard design it has just chrome color roof rail and greenhouse molding also painted in chrome and can you see the rear coat glass it's a very small one but when you sit in the second row it's exactly good angle to see outside okay this is two different type of fields the right one is a sports design package and the left one is standard design in my opinion i prefer normal wheel because the sports design wheel has so many squares in the wheel spoke it reminds me like a spider-man suit Okay, and the GV70 has five types of wheels. So you can see from smallest one is 18 inches and the largest one is just 21 inches. So this is a rear view. This is diesel. Diesel has no exhaust pipe. Not like GV80, Genesis split, tail lamp and uh, blinker. So the blinker placed in the rear bumper. It's similar with the Hyundai. Second one is the standard designs. You can see vertical exhaust pipe. It's okay. And the third one is the sports design package. So you can see very round, big pipe. Biggest, uh, biggest exhaust pipe I seen recently, except the supercar like a Lamborghini or Porsche. And this one is also interesting point. Brake lamp in the spoiler. It reminds me the Aston Martin DBX like this upside down okay this is the exhaust pipe of diesel just one muffler going down come out and this is the fuel efficiency it's korean standard 2.2 diesel it has 210 horsepower and the maximum torque is 45 kilogram force meters and the fuel efficiency is 13.6 kilometer per liter second one is 2.5 turbo it has 304 horsepower and 40, 43 kilogram force meters maximum torque and fuel efficiency is 10.7 kilometer 
Last one is 3.5 turbo. It has maximum power is 380 horsepower and 54 kilogram force meter maximum torque and 8.6 km per liter for fuel efficiency. I heard that 2.5 liter doesn't need for high octane, but the 3.5 liter engine need high octane fuel. I think this view is like a rear quarter view is the best angle for GV70. It's very glamorous and the muscular design. So I feel like a, I want to feel touch. Let's go to interior. As I said, it has two types of design. First one is sports design package and second one is standard design. This first one is standard design. It emphasizes wider feeling. Actually, it has three bands, left one and right one and the middle one. But the designer draw a line from left band and the line go over to the cluster and through the middle and to the right band. And it goes further to the door trim. So um, it makes car wider. And this picture is a sports design package. So it's totally different feeling, like uh, it's uh, too much sexy, I like one. And especially this color combination, red and black, red stitch also adapted. Third one is something like a creamy color's interior. This color is, I think, very good. It makes car more glamorous, elegance. GV70 has a lot of combination to choose. I don't know, this this combination also go to your market, somewhere like US or Europe market or Canada. But in Korea market, we have lots of combination. So this first one is a standard design. It has just artificial leather. This is a signature design selection one. And this one is a natural leather and five colors. This slide is a signature design selection two. It has lots of quilting in the seat. And the interesting thing is the door trim. It has an illuminating line. Before I see this slide, I didn't notice it has a real illuminate. You can see the door trim, especially in the armrest. It has a violet line, it's illuminated. And this slide is sport standard design. I think sport standard design is the best choice. It also consists of natural leather and the suede. The next one is sport design selection one. I also like this door trim. It's a real carbon, not just grain. So I can show you a real picture I taken. As you can see here, it has very colorful like a woman's lingerie. Black and red stitch and red and napa leather and the real carbon door trim. It looks nice. But the last one, sport design selection two, is too much point. Can you see this laminate door trim? It's real, real, real light. Yes. You can see here, check the rear seat. Yes, it's like a club, isn't it? And what about the seat belt? It's just Porsche. Okay, this is steering wheel. It feels so nice, like it has punching and the shift feather also feeling good. And this is standard design steering wheel. It's normal, but I think it's okay. It's the same with the gv 80 one. This is TFT cluster. So um, it has full drive mode. And this is another interesting thing. When you adopt a sports design package, the drive mode selector get one more mode, Sport Plus. So um, in Sport Plus mode, ESC getting turned off and uh, you can do launch control as well. It also has preview suspension. So um, it can adjust your suspension damping, soft or hard automatically. When you choose all-wheel drive option, cluster show you how traction distributed. By the way, sports package mode is just for gasoline, not for the diesel. So when you choose sports package design, automatically electronic limited slip differential adopted to your car. And this one is basic TFT LCD cluster. But I think it's also nice. When you do blinker, full digital cluster has speedometer show you a left behind view and the tachometer show you right behind view. But 8 inch TFT LCD cluster has just one display. So one display show you both the rear view. Uh, GV70 combined drive selector and train selector in one button. So as you can see here, when you turn the button up and down, it choose drive mode. But when you push once, 
it automatically changes mode to torrent selector and it has 14.5 inches center display it's huge one wide one and not like gv80 the gv70 has narrower widest i can touch end of touch screen easily this is a new feature it has upgraded navigation so i'm um, using vr okay check this out okay and the standard design has just normal pedal like accelerator and brake and footrest is a, it is just rubber and plastic but sports design package it has a metal pedal so brake and accelerator is different ISG button placed in the left side and you can you can choose the brightness of the cluster and it has a hill descent control as well and ESC button in here it has a new display in the middle of the center face here dual aircon and ventilated seat and heating seat as well this one is another feature like a, like an iPhone you can turn on your engine with your finger because car recognizes your fingerprint so you can turn it on the car without key according to Genesis maximum three people can register fingerprint for one GV70 but not like an iPhone, only one finger for each person can register to the GV70. These the three pictures is two things I like and one picture is I dislike, I don't like. Okay, the very left one is the wireless smartphone charger. It placed at the center tunnel and it has two slots, one is for backup for built-in cam other slot is for the usb cable charger cable charger and the middle one is the gv70 combined air conditioner auto and off and defog buttons in one so i think it feels like a, not accurately and the last one is it has after blow function like after air conditioner it's dried wetness in in the air condition for no bad smell and it also has the air cleaner for micro dust it has a dial gear knob like a gv80 and the jog dial changed it looks like a more jewel so um but i prefer GV80 is one. It feels like a safe vault. This is three types of different seat, as I told you. And it has ergo motion seat, so 18 ways electronic adjustment seat adopted. This is center storage, no lamp, and the materials. It's finished well, and it has 12 volt cigar uh, jack and the glove box also very finished okay this is the second row when genesis publish the gv70's pictures there is no real seat pictures so i regard maybe second row seat is very small so uh, they don't want to share it but my expectation was so long it is enough enough space for adult actually my height is 178 centimeters especially the real seat reclining angle is almost seven degrees or eight degrees so um it's very comfortable and the seat length is enough for the thigh so i um, mean it, it is very helpful to distribute for for weight distribution and the fit loom is also nice not like g70 it has enough fit looms gv70 has three zone air conditioner the picture is burling and it also has ventilation and heating seat as well and the two two usb port it's a a type not c type and uh, it has a 220 volt power outlet as well but in the bottom it's very stiff it has not enough space for adult and the armrest has two cup holders but no suspended and the sunroof, panorama sunroof adopted, is ended just in front of the second row head. Because I think it's because of the roof line. It's leaned. Boot button placed at the rear wiper like a Porsche Macan. 
and the trunk space is moderate for mid-size SUV. It's a little bit dark, but you can see here the rear wheel housing is getting inside too much, so it's not good for the space. It has another space under the tray, so it's very organized. And it has trunk screen as well. It can storage in trunk, it's a good thing. But uh, it's finish is not like Genesis other parts. It feels like a Hyundai. And the second row seat can fold it easily by lever. So when you fold rear seat, it has very enough space. I can lay down. The second row seat has little degrees. Okay, last picture is GV70 and Tucson and Santa Fe again. So I'll let you know after my test driving next, uh, next Wednesday, as I told you. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll show you another, another video clip soon. Thank you.